friends. Datadog is a partner that provides observability and security tools that helps you understand the health and performance of your applications across hybrid and multi-cloud environments. Earlier this year, we worked on integrating the configuration to make it easier to get it all set up. Srikanth Tertala is here to tell me all about it, and he brought Ryan McLean from Datadog to show me how it works today on Azure Friday. Hey friends, I'm Scott Hanselman and it's Azure Friday. Today I'm going to learn how to make Azure Datadog integration even easier than before. How are you, sir? Pretty good. Thank you, Scott, for having me. Yeah, I'm excited to see how much easier this is than before. I've actually installed Datadog on one of my app services, uh, I would want to say about a year and a half ago, but I understand that some big strides have been made recently. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, so before, before we begin, obviously Microsoft, uh, Azure, it enables applications to run in the cloud seamlessly. One of our one of one of our biggest things that we have seen is observability is a big piece of transition to cloud. Datadog is one such partner that we have worked with to enable um, observability or to be able to monitor every phase of the cloud transition for our customers. What we're going to do today is we're going to show you an example of uh, how to run Datadog within Azure how we have made it an embedded solution within Azure. And uh, we have Ryan from Datadog also to talk a bit about how we can simulate an incident and, and talk a bit about how we see the results of that incident in Datadog. Very cool. Let, let me show you a demo of Datadog in Azure. Um, Datadog is actually is embedded as a service within Azure. I can go ahead and create a Datadog organization within Azure. The first thing I do is to select my Azure subscription. And uh, select my appropriate resource group. And then I provide a resource name. I select the appropriate location where I want the resource to be deployed and then select the appropriate marketplace plan. Once I do that, I can go ahead and configure which resources will be emitting metrics and logs to Datadog. For now, I'm going to select all the resources to emit metrics and logs to Datadog. I can configure single sign-on through my Azure Active Directory integration. And in the end, I can go ahead and create my Datadog resource. So this will actually provision a new Datadog org. It will set up logs and metrics to be sent to Datadog. This will take a bit of time. So let me, sh I have a resource already created. Let me navigate through that experience. Let me show you some of the features that we have built. Uh, we have actually integrated Datadog through single sign-on. So I, actually, I can click on this and log directly into my Datadog organization, as you can see here. And I can directly get dropped into the specific organization that I just created. I can monitor my metric. I can change the configuration for my metrics and logs. I can see all the resources which are emitting metrics and logs to Datadog. And I can also configure virtual machines to install to install Datadog agents on them. So for this demo, we're going to take an app service and install the Datadog agent as an extension. And we're going to simulate an experience where the app service fails and how the results can be viewed in Datadog. Uh, let, me, let me turn it over to Ryan from Datadog to walk you through the experience. Thanks, Rikant. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me, Scott. Yeah, it's going pretty cool. good. How are you still? I'm living the dream. I'm living the dream, learning about the cloud. I figured I'd give you a quick overview about uh, what we're actually going to be monitoring today and then cause of failure so that we can actually see it in Datadog. So I'll give you a quick overview in a diagram and we'll talk about what that looks like. This is an engineering diagram, so it's not great in terms of visuals, but hopefully it gives you an overview of what we're talking about. So we've got three environments, dev, staging, and prod. And through those, we've got an app deployed in app service that actually talks to a Cosmos DB backend. Again, an oversimplification. You probably have some cache, maybe an Azure blob store in here to, to have some of your static resources. But in terms of like demonstrating a failure, what I figured I'd do 
is actually through the app service itself and turn it off and then kind of look at what that looks like in data dog. So you can see on the left here, we've got our three app services, data staging and prod, as well as like app three that I was playing around with. But what I'm going to do is actually stop the service. And we'll start it later, but what I wanted to do is actually show what that failure looks like in data dog. So of course it's going to ask me, do you want to, do you want to stop it? Is that really a good idea? Yeah, let's do it. So this is our site. It's, it's not great. Look, we, we got some emojis and stuff like that in here to make it a little bit more friendly. It's currently loading, but if I go to refresh it, you can see that there's actually an error. So this is pretty common in app service. Maybe you're doing a bad, like a deploy or something like that. Generally, those would be rejected if it doesn't compile that kind of a thing. But if you put something up that actually doesn't load properly, you, you might see that. So what I'm going to do is actually show what that looks like. So in order to do it, what we've done in the app service, just like Sreekamp was saying, we've got deep integration into it. So we put this extension in the app service. And through there, we can actually start to get data on the app service itself. So you can see that as things are logging, uh, as things are loading, sorry, you'll see traces come in. So these are real time. So as people are hitting the app, things will get loading into these live traces. And we can actually scroll through and look at each one of these to figure out what's happening. And what we'll start seeing is failures start to appear. If you're on Teams, for example, you might get an alert in Teams letting you know, oh, hey, by the way, your production app service is down. That's not great. And Datadog can send that directly. So we can send it all the way over to Teams for you. And we'll see what that looks like. So if we had any events here in the past 15 minutes, for example, they'd come through. So if the service went up or down or, or what have you, they go in there and we can actually look at our app service plan in here. So if we go into our prod one, we can actually get traces for it and figure out what's actually going on. And then if we want to look at the other Azure diagrams to figure out what's happening, we can actually go through and get like an overview. So this is just the Azure overview. You saw that there are no VMs deployed in my subscription at this point in time. But you can see that the response time or resources is starting to go up. So it, it seems to be quite a bit longer than it should normally be. And then if we look at our app service plan, we can get an overview of what's going on in Datadog. So CPU utilization, this link, that kind of thing. If there's any errors, they pop up here. So if there's any request errors, that kind of stuff. And you can see, in fact, that there are some 400 errors that are starting to appear since we turned it off. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll drill down a little bit more, just talking about like all the other things that we can monitor. So I mentioned Blob Store. If you've got static resources, images, that kind of thing, you put those in here and grab them. Or if you're doing like backups, that kind of stuff into a Blob Store for your, your service, you can see it there. And then Cosmos DB, of course, as we're hitting the back end, we can start to see those requests come in. So as we're hitting the front end for app service, it will do like a database lookup. And then using that database lookup, we'll start showing you those resources. And then finally, just to talk about the other environments here. So we've got a couple other ones running. And we can start giving an, an overview of what those look like. But I'll start that up here in a moment. So we've got our to-do items. This is our dev site. And then if we go back into prod, and it says we've started it. But I think that was just already loaded. So I'm just going to hit restart just to make sure it starts up properly. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have a look at our site just to make sure that it started. Looks like it's still stopped. But it should start in a moment here. And then we'll start to be able to get into the errors to figure out what's going on. So if I click on one of these, like I, this morning before we got on the call, I started to do a bunch of deployments. And of course, when you're doing like last minute demo fixes, something's going to break. So I, I did some deployments that actually have some errors here. So I can drill down into those and actually show you what's going on. So I'm using something called Watchdog. So what Watchdog will do is look at what's currently happening on your site and what's, what's normal traffic, and then trying to figure out what the outliers are. So if there's something that's actually happening, what, what is currently going on that's causing you to fail? So for this one, for example, it looks like it's trying to write to the document DB, but it's failing. So what I did was actually just looking at these events, going through all the events, it actually found the failures for me without me having to drill down or, or dig or anything like that, and then give us all the instances of the failure happening. Then we can just drill down into those outliers and start to see what's going on. So again, here you can see that the document DB started stopped taking writes. And then if we looked at our actual site, we could go into our prod uptime here and then start looking at what actually happened to the site. Like if there's actually any errors in here, we come up. And uh, yeah, that's that's basically it. I, I just wanted to quickly go over like how I'm sending traffic to the site to figure out if it's up or down. So essentially what we've got is a synthetic monitor that will hit the site from different locations on a regular basis. So in this case, what I'm using is actually going through and hitting it using Edge. So using Edge in Azure as, as one of our like synthetic sites, we'll hit the website on a regular basis to make sure that it's up. If there's anything wrong with it, if it takes too long to load, that kind of thing, we can drill down into it. Now, while we're doing that, we also have something else called RUM, which is real user monitoring. So when the page loads itself, let's imagine you're in an elevator and you, you, you go to actually load the page. What we can do is instrument that actual instance of the page being loaded on the users 
endpoint just to make sure that if there's anything that loads incorrectly, let's say you're using Angular, or React, or what have you, we can actually catch those errors as well on the front end side and report it back, which is quite handy. Wow. So you're 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 checking those via observability, not via injecting JavaScript. You got it. Yeah. So it's kind of like a, a uh, it's almost like white box and black box. So on the infrastructure side, we can monitor Azure, we can monitor Cosmos and App Service. And on the front end side, what you'd normally consider like a black box test, we can actually get right in there and send both synthetic traffic to the site, as well as once it's loaded, we can kind of get an overview of the site working itself. Now, I, I left a page up here on the end just to make sure that we we, we sort of uh, talking about the actual offering that Sriconf mentioned. So we've mm -hmm. actually got a marketplace entry here that you can certainly just click get it now and that will get you started on Datadog. If you've already got a Datadog account, we can link that for you. But if you'd like to create a new account at the same time and maybe set up SSO like Sweet Confidence Demo, we can do that for you as well, just through that walkthrough that he's talking about. Yeah, it's really cool how cleanly integrated it is. Like back in the day, uh, not just Datadog, but other uh, third-party extensions were, you know, were challenging, but I'm watching you move seamlessly back and forth between the Azure portal and in the Datadog portal. Um, I saw how cleanly you used an extension. Extensions in App Service are great. They're little sidecar websites. So your App Service has a site sitting next to it and then that's observing what's going on. And then if it was a virtual machine, you've got the Datadog agents uh, as well. So it's very clean integration and very simple to set up. Yeah, you gotta, I find when there are errors with Datadog, it's a lot easier to switch those contexts like you were talking about or drill down and save the context as you're going between logs, metrics, and traces, possibly your cloud, those kind of services, you can actually keep that same either time frame or if it's a trace, if you're looking at a specific user session, it makes it very easy to go between them. And then also one other thing that I noticed that was cool is when you were in Watchdog, uh, you clicked on it and in the upper corner, it literally was just like source Cosmos DB. So it's very clear what was wrong. You got it, yeah. And that's and, and again, I'm showing off a little bit, but obviously those are the platform logs coming from Azure. And mm -hmm. I actually found that for me, I, I didn't realize it was even there as I was deploying. I didn't realize that the site went down momentarily because I'm only using one deployment slot. So it was a great outlier for me to say, oh, haha, you might want to use a couple deployment slots here. Very cool. So our friends that are watching can go and subscribe to Datadog integration with Azure on the Azure Marketplace. Is that right, Shrika? That is correct. Um, as Ryan just showed us, it's it's available on Marketplace. Uh, you can subscribe and get it now um, and install the Datadog uh, in your Azure portal. All right. Very cool. I am learning all about Azure Datadog integration today on Azure Friday. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Azure Friday. Now I need you to like it, comment on it, tell your friends, retweet it. Watch more Azure Friday.